So, hey, hey, crafters, crocheters, and yarn enthusiasts. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. I just did my upload for my blanket video today. Um, I wanted to get straight into doing the next video. My name is Jenny. Welcome to Granny Square Peg. So this is random yarn bin number seven. It's been in the house for a couple weeks. I'd like to go through it and get it organized and put like with like, like what I did with my last two yarn bin videos. Um, so I'm just, it's already sitting here next to me. It's already open. Hopefully I showed you a little clip in the beginning of what's in here. And I'm going to start going through this. We have some Red Heart with Love. Red Heart with Love. The color is called Pewter, which is a medium shade of gray. Huh? That's nice, right? which I think these colors on the top I used in a blanket. And I've been looking for the blanket so I can put it with the yarn. So, Red Heart with Love. And I have Red Heart Super Saver in the color Light Gray. Yeah. So these are all partially used. I have Red Heart Super Saver in the color Charcoal, which is a darker gray. I actually like that. There we go. Three shades of gray. All from Red Heart. And then I have two shades of blue sitting up on the top here. This is, this is one of my favorite colors. This is Red Heart Super Saver again. Okay. And it's the color called Aruba Sea. And it's this really pretty aqua shade of blue. I love that. It's one of my favorite colors from Red Heart. Tuck in all these little ends so my kitty cats don't come and eat them. And then I have Burnett Super Value. And the color is aqua. Actually got a bit of a, some teal undertones to it. So these five colors I have in a blanket together. Can you see all five of those together? Oh, they are so pretty. All right, so what's next? I wonder, oh yeah, you're good, I'm good. All right, so I have three different skeins of variegated yarn, okay, which means I also have them in the blanket with those five, with those three shades of gray and the two shades of blue. This is McCall from Red Heart Super Saver. Look at those shades of blue. There's not a lot of that left. Oh, I wonder where the blanket is that goes with this. I'm wondering if it's in a, in a bin in my shed. All right, this is called Dove. It has shades of gray with some really light, light, light purple that's heathered. See that? And then I have two parcels of Icelandic, which this is really pretty with these light shades of blue with some white and uh, shades of gray. This is probably what started it for me, and I probably matched the colors in here to those grays and blues there. So I have two partial skeins of Icelandic. It's a really pretty color. I'm hoping I can find the blanket for this soon so I can get all everything together. So when I do that blanket video, I will have the yarn to show you. All right. What else do we have in here? Oh, lots of random stuff. Start at the top, work my way down. 
So if you guys, um, for anybody who's new, I had damaged my rotator cuff in late in 2020, and I had to put down my crochet hook after almost 40 years of crocheting. I had to take a break. It was hurting my arm really bad, and I couldn't pick my hook up again until January of 2022, because I put my hook, my hook down in January 2021 after I realized that my rotator cuff was damaged. So I had boxed up everything, and boxes, bins, and bags, put away my yarn pile, my project pile, my hooks, my books, everything was put away. Um, I took it out, some of it, just a couple months ago in January, I took some of it out of my shed to start going through it, finishing up some projects. Um, I can crochet now, my rotator cuff is good. I, mean, I don't crochet as much as I had back in the day. So I'm going through my yarn bins and I'm trying to organize everything and put like with like and whatever I don't plan on using, I plan on selling. When I finish with my blankets and they're all done, I'm going to be selling them. So if y'all see a blanket that you like, let me know. I don't have anything listed in my Etsy shop just yet, I think, except for one blanket because it's a slow process. All right, so let's see, what's next? What's next? Um, this is called Fashion Yarn 2. I got two balls of this. Okay. Um, pinks and grays. All right. So my handwriting on here says a dollar and it has the letter A, which means I bought it at the craft store called AC Moore, which um, has since closed down. They're no longer in business. One hundred percent acrylic. This ball of yarn is 50 grams. And that's about all it says. <laughs> 119 yards. Um, I'm saying this is probably a three weight, um, which means light, medium, or DK weight. It seems I only have two balls of it. I wonder what I was planning on doing with that. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. which I have stuff similar to the pinks and the grays. This is, this is horrible. I wonder why I bought so much of it. It is gray and orange, and really, they just do not go well together. I know my mom bought some, because that's my mom's handwriting on there. She got it for 50 cents. They must have been having a sale. So, yeah, again, it feels like a three-weight yarn because I actually have more of it that's hand-wound and more of it. Some more. Some more of it. This this color is awful. I really do not like this. Why in the world do I have all this? I don't know. I did this. I love orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors. But mixed with the gray like this, I don't like this at all. I don't want that. It's ugly. Maybe I should just let my cats tear into it and have some fun with it, right? Then I won't feel like it went to waste. No, I sometimes I don't know why we buy things and then hold on to them. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Let's just leave that behind. Um, a random ball of baby yarn. It is not quite a number four medium weight, but it is a heavy three weight though. And this minty green. One random ball of it. Doesn't have a yarn label. But a good color for a BB blanket, right? I like that. Huh. What is this? Whatever this is, it is so tangled and mangled. I don't even think these are the same. Well, no, because they're two different colors. Man, when I put this stuff away, when I couldn't crochet, man, I really just randomly threw things into a bin. Oh, 
All right, so it's a creamy white. It is a number four worsted weight, if I'm seeing this right. And it's tangled. I need to sit on now. I love to untangle yarn. I have no problem sitting down and untangling this. So I will do that and make it look nice and pretty. Yeah, nice, good, and soft, and squishy. So this is an off-white, but again, it's a three-weight. Baby yarn, probably. No yarn ball or anything. It's not too tangled. Okay, all right, now we got one with a, with a label on it. Patons, P-A-T-O-N-S. It's a Canadian yarn, if I remember correctly. 100% acrylic, 100 grams or 3.5 ounces, made in Canada. It, the color they call it, Aran. It is a number four medium weight. And Canadiana, I mean, like, how do you say that? It's supposed to be like Canada, but. Another random bowl of yarn. More than likely, um, I'm seeing tape on this and this sticker here. It was probably at a thrift store. And I probably felt like I needed to save it. Well, there you go. Random yarn balls. to go get my phone. I actually still have a landline in my house. <laughs> and it was ringing in the background. Alright. Random ball of yellow yarn. It's got a little bit of a shine or a sheen to it. Satiny feel. Number four. Medium weight. There we go. Small amount of pink. Number four, medium weight. Some blue. Some more pink. Some more pink. These all feel like medium weight yarn. Some red. Probably all left over from other projects. I got one kitty cat sitting over there watching everything I do. Like, Mom, can I have some yarn? Okay. Alright, I got some baby blue. Feels a little bit like Karen Simply Soft. Maybe. Alright, do you guys ever do this? I like to play with color and I like to, um, what I do is I cut about, that about six, eight inches of yarn and I put the colors together to see if they go well together and I tie a little knot in them so I get this little palette sample. So there's some pink, green, yellow, blue, purple, and orange. Just some little sample that I thought would look really good in a blanket. So it just gets thrown in the bin with everything else. Yeah, they actually go really well together. <sighs> okay. More leftovers of medium weight yarn. Some yellow. Ah, uh, that yellow probably goes with this. It's called Butterscotch from Impeccable from Loops and Threads. I tied it around the, the yarn band. <laughs> the little label that comes on the yarn, the ball band. Sometimes you just tie your yarn around it. This way you don't forget where it came from. Well, yeah, this, this bin's got a lot of little bits of leftovers. Gray, some purple, some pink. This feels like um, Karen Simply Soft again. Now look at that. 
nice big ball of purple probably made into a project didn't like it and then ripped it all out and frogged it and wound it up into a ball feels like a uh, number four medium weight Let's see if I can fix that tangle on there there we go I have a feeling that by the time I'm done I'm gonna have a lot of yarn that I can make a scrap blanket out of I just threw the ball of yarn in the chair and it rolled out and across the floor um, so I'm variegated. Well, this is scratchy stuff. Uh-uh. Hey, get. Sorry, kitty kit. Kitty found the yarn. Um, I've got two of this. Um, I'm wondering if this came from my mom because she's a big fan of variegated yarn and I, I like it too um, but I like to use it leftover I don't actually buy it for specific projects usually I'm wondering if this came from my mom so two balls of variegated it feels scratchy like it's old yarn maybe but definitely a number four medium weight Oh yeah, some more. All right, here we go. It says Loops and Threads, which is the in-house store brand from Michael's the Craft Store. This line is called Impeccable. And this color is clear blue. Okay. A little bit of that left over from a project. So the same yarn, Loops and Threads Impeccable. This color is Pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> Another hand wound ball. This is just plain old white. All right, let's go with these because these look like fun right here. Not. Right three of these um okay oh yeah they look like fun this is i have i wrote my own label hold on These are from Yarnspirations. They're Karen Cupcakes. Okay. See that? You are supposed to be able to make a hat out of it. And I think they're maybe not baby hats, but toddler hats or kid size hats. I'm not so sure that they're adult hats. Now the hat on, on the label here is knitted. It's not crocheted. But you have the pom-pom and then you have the yarn to make a hat. So, see? I have a whole bunch of these because I did not make hats with them. I made a blanket with them and it came out fantastic. And I had wanted to make a second blanket so I started buying these up when Michaels had them on clearance sale. So this was on sale for $2.37. So I have three of them. One, two, and number three. Okay. So let's talk details on the yarn. It is a number three lightweight. It uses a crochet hook of a G or a four millimeter. I, I wouldn't use a crochet hook that big. I would use the F. It is washable, it is dryable, it is 100% acrylic. The pom-pom is 100% polyester. The weight of this ball or this cake is three ounces or 85 grams. And then its yardage is 244 yards or 223 meters. And, oh, and the color, the color, the color. They call it Strawberry Kiwi Pop. Strawberry Kiwi Pop from Karen Cupcakes. So, yeah, I didn't make a hat out of these. I made, um, I made a blanket. 
and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the blanket because it came out beautifully and I do have more of these in other bins, boxes, and bags so I can put them all together and make another blanket because the yarn is wonderful, it's beautiful. Um, I love the color choices that they had put in these um, cupcakes. Beautiful. I actually like a lot of stuff that Karen did when they started making their cakes and their cupcakes and their big cakes and, and stuff. These, these cakes of yarn, they, they did a really good job on them. They're really beautiful. So, did y'all get to see that, or am I moving it around too much? Strawberry Kiwi Pop. With a little pom-pom. It's a good yarn. I like it. So, give me a second, because the kitty kitty is really trying to eat that yarn over there. Thinks he's all cute. Looks at me. Mom, look how cute I am. No, you can't have the yarn. Okay, um, I'm going to keep going with the yarn because I actually have blanket projects in here. One, two, three. Yeah, I've got, I've got blankets in here too. Alright, more yarn. Random yarn. Okay, another ball of patterns. Canadiana? I, I mean, y'all have to help me with the pronunciation of this. It is number four medium weight. Um, 3.5 ounces. It's just like that ball of uh, off-white that I have. And this one's called light pink. Soft. I like the color. Right? That's pretty. You know, it's it's a lot of yarn. It's very overwhelming. I know. I have a lot of yarn. My yarn stash is really big, and it is really all over the place. It's a lot of companies and a lot of brands because I could never settle on one that I liked more than the others. I like a lot of them for a lot of different reasons. So, Hirschner's, the yarn catalog that now has a website. They did two-ply baby yarn. Now, my last video I just did is Hershner's two-ply afghan yarn. And this is still their two-ply afghan yarn, but they're calling it baby because they did soft baby colors. And this color is called eggshell. Paid $1.89 for it. it. Must have been on sale when I was shopping on their website for something. Ooh, I love that color. And it is soft. So my own label is hiding all the details. It should be a two ounce ball of yarn. It should be a number two fine weight, 100% um, acrylic. And I can't remember the, the yardage. It's over 200 yards, but not much. Yeah, Hershner's two ply baby yarn. I like it. You'll notice I got a lot of creams and a lot of soft whites. It's one of my favorite colors to use in a blanket. It's my favorite neutral. Alright, so this one is from Hershner's too. Take this off. I have my own, I put my own labels on there. To let me know where I bought it, when I bought it. So it's just a piece of scrap paper that I tape onto the label. So this one's called Village Yarn Sweetie Pie. It is a chain spun yarn, and it's just um, during the manufacturing process. It's the way they spin the yarn. It, it comes out looking like a chain, like a metal chain, so it's chain spun, um, which makes for a light, airy yarn. Gives you a lot of drape to it. So 100% acrylic, um, 138 yards uh, is a number three lightweight. Its color is, I have a color. It's just a silverish gray kind of color. I bought it because it was probably on clearance when I was shopping for other things. Yeah. Yeah, according to my notes, I, was, I, I bought it because it was on clearance. I have no idea what I plan on doing with it. 
Okay. What else we got? Uh, more hand wound balls of yarn. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's connected to something. Wow. This is here. Here's an example. Okay. All right. This looks like more Karen Simply Soft. It's a uh, minty green. This is a leftover ball of yarn. It is probably bubblegum pink from Red Heart with Love, I want to say. Because I had a lot of that at some point. I was working on a sample. This is how I do my samples. I just sit with my hook and I make things up as I go along. What was I doing with this one? I have no idea if it's got some texture to it. I wonder if I have notes for it. Three single crochets in a chain space. Huh. Hopefully I've got a set of notes for it somewhere to let me know what in the world I was doing. I don't know. It's cute. Whatever I was working on. Got some bumpy texture to it. But it's not a popcorn, no. wonder what I was doing. Alright, I will try to keep this together because I'm going to come across more of these as I go through my boxes, bins, and bags. I'm going to come across more of these where I was working up a sample because I had an idea about something and it's going to be attached to a little ball of yarn. That's, that's what I did. A lot of times you would find my hook jam through there too. So, I'd be interested to figure out what in the world I was doing with that one. Oh, okay. All right. So, Premier Yarns. Premier is having, um, when I started using Premier Yarns, they were new. They weren't um, as big and popular as they are today. Today being May 2022, I seem to see them all over the, the Crocheters YouTube channels. Um, so, this is, this is actually years old. I've had this for quite a few years. They did these little balls of yarn that are... See if I can find the details on the label. Um, 2.47 ounces, 70 grams, um, 130 yards, or 119 meters. Okay, so 100% acrylic. But I mean, it's it's not even two and a half ounces. It's only 2.47 ounces. Um, and this is the color cactus. They came out with so many of these little balls of yarn that were variegated. So that's cactus. Rose Garden, Beach Day, that one's pretty, Surfboard, that one's pretty too, Neon Lights, Paradise Sunset. And volcano. Yeah, that, that's a good that's a good name for that color. No, that's not the right label for that. Stone Path. Alright, so I still ha I have two labels here. One says Spice Drop and one says Stone Path. So I'm not quite sure. It's probably Stone Path, right? So the labels say that it was World Vision Knit for Kids. Help us donate 100,000 hand knits to the world's children. And when I bought this, I bought it at AC Moore. 
AC Moore was my my craft store of choice. It's the one I grew up going to when I was younger, and I have a good, I have to see if I can find an old photo. But where my AC Moore is, there is a Michaels right next door, so I can go to both at the same time with Joanne's like two seconds around the corner. So, but AC Moore was always my store of choice. So that's where a lot of this older yarn has come from, is from AC Moore, the craft store, before they closed business, all right? So I really like the Premier Yarns, and they called this Eversoft. I really like the Eversoft yarn. It is a number four medium weight. I love all these variegated colors, and I know at the time they still, they made um, solid colors, but I didn't try any other solid colors yet. I, I really liked the variegated that they had in the store. So I bought one of every color. And then eventually what I did was is I made a blanket. I did um, granny squares. And I think that there are three or four rounds of granny squares in the granny square. And I did two or three of each color. Or maybe even more. I don't know. I'm going to find the blanket because I also mixed it with, um, like I did a square of the variegated, then I did black, then variegated, then black. So it gives it a, a, a stained glass effect to the blanket and, it, and it's beautiful. So it's in my project pile somewhere. Um, so this is the yarn I used for it. So I'm looking forward to putting the yarn back with the blanket and then doing that video for you guys because that blanket came out beautifully and that ever soft from premier yarns is a good yarn to use so i'm um, if i'm happy with their variegated more than likely i would be happy with their solid colors too and it, and it's um texture is soft and it's got that satiny sheen to it like karen simply soft does it's a good it's a good quality yarn i i i enjoyed it all right so that is what's in the bin let's see if i can All those variegated colors I mean this this right here makes my heart happy <laughs> I really love using leftover variegated yarns in projects and I actually have something in mind for this so I really do have to find that blanket so I can pull it out do the video so I can start working on this and making something else with it okay um Let's see, this is Lion Brand Yarns. It's called Unique. Ah, the label on there. See this little label? It means I bought it from the thrift store. Uh, it's a brand new ball of yarn. It hasn't been used. And I bought it from the thrift store for $2, right? Um, back in 2018, according to my little note on there. The color is called Garden. And if I'm not mistaken, it is a number five bulky weight. Okay. Yep. And it's got that moral look to it. And moral is like two different colors twirled together. 100% acrylic. Um, 109 yards. 3.5 ounces. I had liked this color so much when I bought it in the thrift store that I actually went to Lion Brand's website. And found it on their website, didn't like the price, went to hershners.com, liked their price better, and bought a second ball of it. So I can make a hat or a scarf out of it. Because I, I enjoy it's um it's really soft. And I knew that one ball of this was not gonna be enough to do what I wanted, so I bought a second one. And I bought it brand new. And I paid two dollars for it. <laughs> so buying it brand new, I spent two dollars on it. Buying it in the thrift store, I spent two dollars on it. So I like it. I'm looking forward to making a hat and a scarf out of it. All right. So what's next? Um, actually, I think it goes into projects after that. Yeah, it does. Stay tuned for part two.